Whenever I review accounts that are running Google search campaigns, I'm constantly surprised that people only spend their optimization focus on improving their keyword targeting and also their ad copy. Now, not for one second am I saying that they are not two very, very important tasks that need to be completed regularly. But for true success with Google ad search campaigns, you need to not only be optimizing your keyword targeting and also your ad copies, because you need to also go about and make sure that you're always optimizing your audiences, your demographics, your location and your device targeting. And it's these extra four items that you go through and optimize is where you can go through and really see those drastic reduction in your conversion acquisition costs, which then means that you're gonna be getting more revenue for less money with your Google Ads campaigns. And the reason for why this is so important is because with Google Ads, you need to think about it like this. You're not only wanting to target specific search terms, because what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to target specific age and income earners who have previously searched or visited these specific websites and who live in certain areas or are completing that search on a computer, a phone, or a tablet. And in all of my years in Google Ads, that's when I've seen the most successful campaigns. When you're taking that holistic approach to optimizing and targeting your Google Ads search campaigns. So in this video, I wanna take you through a deep dive and break down how I go through and optimize a search campaign in Google. But just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young. I'm from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads Master. So with all that said, let's jump straight into that screen share so I can show you how I go about and optimize my search campaigns so that I can get more conversions at a lower price. Okay, so this is the search campaign I'm gonna be taking you through, and I'm gonna show you the optimization process that I would go through as I took on this account and as I'm optimizing this account. And what you can see that when you do follow this process, you can see a really rapid increase in your conversion rate and the number of conversions quite quickly. And by me implementing this holistic approach, you can see that we pretty much doubled the amount of conversions that this account was, was seeing on a weekly basis. They went from just seeing about 11 up to 20 and 17 conversions over the past two weeks. So as I said, I'm not gonna be focusing in on the ad copy and also the keywords because that's where I see a lot of people go through and focus their optimization actions. Like I said, very, very important and you need to be going and doing those aspects. But what I wanted to focus on is going through these other aspects and areas that people don't focus on and that is the audiences. Then also if you go down to show more, you can see where you can optimize your locations and your devices. So firstly, let's go into your audiences. And what I wanna show you through here is a common question that I do get is that people will sometimes ask and they'll go through and say, if you're using a maximized conversions, do you need to go through and add in some extra bid adjustments to your audiences? And I still do this and I've always done this. And the reason for that is that this account is using a maximized conversions bidding, but you can see even with that, even and this is a well-established campaign, that these top ones that Google is focusing this spending on haven't been getting any conversions. So what I have just gone through and done over the past couple of weeks is I've gone through and added in some extra bid adjustments so that we can increase the spending in these audiences. So I still do go through and add in these extra bid adjustments, even if I'm using a maximized conversions. And that is the reason why. Why? Then the other part that you wanna go down to is that you wanna scroll down and you wanna look at your age and your household income. Now, the one thing that I do wanna stress that this one is targeting a European country, so that's why you can't see this household income. But this account also has some other campaigns that are targeting different countries where we can see this household income. So what you wanna be doing with this age and household income data is that you wanna break it down so that you can see the cost and conversions. And what you're looking at here is you're looking to see are there any areas where we're spending a lot of money but getting a lower level of conversion. So from this one, what you can see is that we're spending more in this 35 to 44 age bracket and we are getting some conversions but we're not seeing as much spend in this 55 to 64 age bracket but we're getting a lot more conversions. So what we could do and we've already blocked out some of these age brackets is we could do the same thing again and add in some extra bit adjustments to this older age bracket. So what I would be even doing in here is this 35 to 40, 44 
age bracket, I'm gonna go and remove the increase, which is here. This is an account that I've recently taken on. So I wouldn't have added in these increases anyway, because they've added it completely across the board. And what that actually does is obviously, if you add in a 10% bid adjustment to every single age bracket, it's the same as not adding a bid adjustment at all. So we'll go through and remove the remainder of those. So what I've done is I've gone through and I'm gonna go through and remove this bid adjustments from these age brackets. And then in this 55 to 64 age bracket, I'm gonna select all of these. So the ones that are still eligible, we're gonna edit, change bid adjustments, and I'm gonna add in a 10%. So what we've done now is that we made some adjustments so that we're focusing more spend on this age bracket, which is getting the highest level of conversions at the moment. So that's how you go through and you optimize by your audiences and also your demographics. I showed you how we did it for age and you can do the same thing for your household income. And what you're looking at doing is that you're wanting to focus in that spend on the age brackets or the household income brackets, which are giving you the highest number of conversions for the lowest cost. Little tip too, if you don't see the data like this, sometimes Google will default to this data I've always found going into the summary chart just makes it a lot easier to see. Now, after the audiences, we're gonna go into the locations. And then what you can do from there is the same process, is that you wanna make sure that where you're spending the most amount of money, are you getting that same level of conversion? So we can see from here that our highest spend is where we're getting the most conversions. So we're happy with that. There's a couple of things that we could do. We could even break that out into its own campaign. I'm happy with how it is at the moment, or we could increase or decrease those bid adjustments. And if you click on the certain country, you can also see that data broken down by the provinces, the cities, depending on the country, you can also see the states and the counties, depending on how your country puts in its different locations. And then finally, what you can also do is you can also look at the different devices. And what I want to show you in through here is that with this account, they had previously put in place 100% bidding, so they'd blocked the computers. But you can see from here, the cost per conversion was in over a 1000. And if we look at the last 30 days, I added added in this computer targeting and you can see how that has already started to drop down. And when we bring that to the last 14 days, you can see that computers are still performing really, really well. And that's the process of how I go through and optimize my search campaigns. So remember that while it's really, really important that you are optimizing your search terms and your ad copy, don't forget to also go into those other really highly valuable areas of optimizing your audiences, your demographics, your locations, and also your devices. And to make sure that you don't miss any of those important optimization actions, I wanna give you free access to my Google Ads optimization checklist. And this lets you know all the different optimization actions that you need to complete. And it also lets you know how often you need to complete those optimization actions. So if you wanna know exactly what you need to optimize every single time you go into your Google Ads account, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. And now that I've shown you how you can go through and optimize your search campaigns, I do also need to let you know that for that process to work in the best possible way, you need to make sure that you firstly got your account set up correctly so that you've got your search campaigns set correctly. And if you wanna see the process of how I set up my Google search campaigns for the best results, go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time. See ya.